Hey, what's up guys, I device help here, and today I'm going to show you some hidden features in iOS 11. And I know what you're thinking, it is impossible for you to show me something I haven't seen yet. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's a few ones in this video that I'm sure you haven't seen anywhere else, and I'll prove it. Let's begin. First, let's go into the settings application right here in the about section. If you tap on the model number, it actually shows you your model number. It didn't do that in iOS 10 but it does do it for iOS 11. Inside of the Photos application, by the way, if you want this image here as your wallpaper, I'll link it in the description, you can tap the Share option, and now you can create a watch face with any image that you have in your camera roll. Not only a stock or a standard Apple watch face, but the brand new option for the Clariscope options is also available with the new Apple watch face creations inside of Photos. Check this really cool one out right here in the widgets panel. If you find any URL throughout iOS, right here is a weather URL right below the widgets. I can tap and hold it just like that. It starts floating around. I can bring it over to Safari, create a new tab, and just drop it in Safari. Boom, and it takes me to the website. Now you can go ahead and grab any URL from anywhere and do that. So pretty cool option. In the phone dialer, now if you start dialing, the delete button is at the bottom of the screen, not all the way at the top. Thank you, Apple. Did you know you can now set seconds here on your timers? Not only that, but when you set a timer, you get a new option to click repeat from right there and you can continue repeating. Now if you want it to stop of course, all you have to do is click the stop button at the bottom. But you do get a repeat option and now you can go ahead and also set seconds in your timers. Did you know that you can swipe right on a note to create a folder and lock it or delete it individually? But did you also know that you can swipe to the left to pin that note? Yes, you can do that. Did you know you can take more than one screenshot and edit all of those screenshots together and they start piling up here on the bottom left. Once you tap in there, you can edit all the screenshots or get rid of all the screenshots at one take. In Safari, you now have a multiple tab search right here. Pretty cool. The new control center in iOS 11 can now be used in landscaping. You can swipe side to side to use it. Did you know that iOS 11 allows you to zoom in a video while it's playing just like this? So let me go ahead and share with you guys two more inside of the Safari tab in settings. If you scroll all the way down, you have an automatically save offline mode. Now this is anything you add to your reader list. It will save it for you to read it offline later without a network connection. Now I also wanted to share with you guys, there's a new option inside the iTunes and App Store section that says offload unused applications. If you toggle that on, it'll delete any applications that you haven't used in a while in order to give you that space back on your device while still preserving all your data and then once you're ready to use the application, download it again, you won't lose any of your data. You will be able to use that space while you're not using the application. So offloading unused applications, a very cool option in iOS 11. And that about brings it into this video. Let me know if there's any here that you haven't seen anywhere else. I'm thinking there's going to be a few there, but let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoy the video and have a great day. I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.